Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 17th of May. A turbulent week, but it has not ended. There are some special sessions tomorrow also. BAC and NSE will be conducting some drills tomorrow. So markets will be working, but it will not be a continuous working day. There will be breaks in between. Also note that on account of elections in Mumbai, Monday is an off day for the market. Today was an okay day. Markets are very much stock specific and sector specific in certain cases. Shipbuilding and defense stocks went through the roof today once again. Defense is on a roll. Nifty started with a 75 point gap down but then recovered and mostly for the whole day it was in a very very narrow 50 point range not much there for the traders at all today both nifty and bank nifty ended with minor gains it stocks had a really bad time today tcs infosys both were significantly down reliance had another good day 0.7 percent up can you predict how was vix today it was down started a little up when the markets were down but then it went down and consolidated just like nifty today i'm shooting the video a little late so fia and di data is already out both of them shopped today. After a long while, for the first time in this month, FIIs did a cash buy. 1600 crores for FIIs and DIIs did 1650 crores. Overall net buy of 3500 crore, good decent number. At least the trend has reversed after half the month gone. Gold is on the boundary of 73,000. Brent has crept up a little, 83.5. Bitcoin is consistently above 65,000. Slightest of uncertainty and Bitcoin will cross 70,000. Gold will cross 75,000. Result specific news, JSW, largest steel company in the country. Quarter 4 profit plunged by 65%. They are saying expenses have increased. I find it hard to believe that they can't manage their expenses, leading to profit plunging by 65%. Towards the end of this video, we'll use JSW's results today as the exercise for today. But that will be after covering the answer for the Mazgaon question that I asked yesterday. Delivery back to RAD, it is terrible news because December quarter seemed to be a turnaround for delivery. Lot of people bought into delivery. Many people will be caught at the higher levels of delivery stock now. Bandhan Bank's Q4 profit has gone down significantly. They have written off certain loans. International news, if you have followed Michael Burry, the big shot, he shorted the US markets big time earlier this year, but those shots misfired and he had to cancel those shots. Just now he has dumped Alphabet and Amazon and bought a lot of gold. I don't own Alphabet or Amazon shares, but yes, I have also bought some gold in the past. So I agree with his philosophy here. It is a good time to be on gold right now. Tau crossed 40,000 for the first time yesterday. It closed lower. But I found this news to be really funny. Simple reason is Dow is totally fueled by dollar printing. US economies apparently are at an all time high, but so are US sovereign debts as well as the debt per capita, including credit card debt. They are at an all time high. No one in the US is jubilant with their salaries. The CPI number I talked about yesterday also. I used the word steroids yesterday, but actually the economy is on ventilator. Continuously artificial oxygen is being pumped into the body of the US economy via the printing of dollars that is keeping the markets alive. If US government stops printing the dollars just for one quarter, the entire economy and stock markets will collapse. Sector snapshot, besides software and IT, nearly everything was looking green. IRFC was up a lot, 7.2%. State Bank was up 0.7%. Kotak Mahindra recovered 1.5%. Overall, the sector was up 0.6%. Mahindra and Mahindra continued to rock 6% up. This stock is now beyond my comprehension. It just traditionally that Mahindra and Mahindra was so low on PE and lacking retail participation that a lot of people want a bite of it. I would perhaps not invest at these levels. It has overtaken Bajaj Auto now. Sector of the day again was aerospace and defense. Though HL corrected a bit, but BL up 4.3%, Musgaon Dock up 13%. At one stage, it nearly was threatening 2800 levels. It did make a lifetime high today ahead of its results on 30th. Bara Dynamics, Data Patterns, Garden Reach, which is again a shipbuilding company. All of them did pretty well. Let's check metals and mining. This sector is looking very good right now. Zinc and copper prices globally at our very high levels right now. As a result, a lot of companies are doing well in India also. JSW Steel I think the markets will not take the results kindly. This will get beaten down and it may take Tata Steel down with it. Steel sector specifically has one big problem. If international demand is good, if there is money to be made, then typically government puts some extra taxes. As a result, exports are no longer lucrative. That is where the companies get beaten. But when the international demand goes down, for example, China's demand is right now very low. At that time, there is no additional cut in duties. So steel companies don't do well, just like JSW's case right now maybe. So they get beaten on both sides the opportunity to make money is killed and when there are losses there is no support this is a very big problem for the steel industry where there is a significant element of export included let's check software and it all the top four or five players were down no respite for it only two green days in last six trading days the consumption pack continued to sulk 
Hindustan Unilever, Godrej, Tabar, Colgate, everyone down. This sector is giving some promising options to buy right now if you are a long-term investor. Most of these companies are here to stay over the next decade. HUL, Godrej, Tabar, Colgate, PNG, Gillette. I don't think any of these companies is under threat in terms of their business models good opportunity to buy if you are a long-term investor i mentioned yesterday that i've been buying slowly in the consumption rated stocks i will continue to buy more as and when i have money for the longer run nifty fifth this table is right now sorted on percentage change tcs down most mahindra and mahindra up most the volumes were a little sane today the stocks with highest falls and highest gains they had good volumes however most stocks had lower than average volumes note that jsw steel's results came after market hours so the numbers here do not reflect the results yet. 50-50 market bet, 25 stocks down, 25 up. Next 50 looks lot greener, 17 stocks down, 33 up. Volumes continue to be very shallow. LIC is in the 60% zone. This is despite the fact that nearly two-third of the nifty next 50 companies are in the 80 to 100% zone. InfoEdge was up most 6%. IRCTC 5%, BL 4.3%, Gale, Zydus, TVS, what was down? HL was down 1.5% today. Profit booking, yesterday it was up a lot. Bajaj Holdings down, Dabur, Pidilight, Muthut. IT index was really bad. Persistent was up again today. Besides that, the entire sector was bleeding. Banks, Bank of Baroda was down. ICIC down very little. PNB down very little. Kotak Mahindra has been recovering slowly. 1.47% up today. It is still 21% away from the 52 week high. A long distance to go. PSU Bank index, nothing noticeable as SBI up, Union Bank down, Bank of Baroda down. My trades, there are few changes. One is I have moved idea and industry to long-term investments outside the trade list. If you have seen my recent concept video around sector selection, then you would remember that telecom was appearing as a good sector if markets went into a recession or a war broke out. So I want to stay invested a bit in telecom. ATL is too expensive for me right now. So I want to stay invested in idea and industry hour. Both of them represent the telecom sector. I'll stay on these stocks for some time. In terms of today's trades, I sold a little holding in Satin, which is a very small company in the microfinance space. I was totally out of cash, so I had to create some money. I bought Bharat Electronics Limited, BL. I've been seeing it go up every day in my own updates. So finally, I took the plunge and bought it. The results are on Monday, but markets are closed. So we'll know on Tuesday how the stock did. I tried to sell a part of my Mazgaon Dock holdings. I had 250 shares. I tried to sell 100 at 2795. The stock went till 2794 and then retrace back. I missed it by 1 rupee. For now, BL will get added to the trading list. At current prices, I am not sure if I would carry BL, Mazdoc and other defense shares in the longer run. Right now, I have 3 BL, Mazdoc and data patterns. Alright, time to visit Mazgaon Dock. We talked about the stock yesterday. Let's go through the numbers. First of all, the stock's P36 is not very high. However, Price to earnings ratio has two elements. One is price and second is earnings. So this price of 2743 is also dependent upon the earnings forecast, not just the absolute EPS. Industry P is around 29. So these two numbers are not very different. Market cap of 55,340 crores. So a reasonably large company. Debt to equity zero, which is fantastic. No money is being wasted in EMIs and interest costs. Low dividend yield, I consider that good. In terms of EPS and price to earnings, EPS has increased significantly after 2022. Earlier, it was kind of flattish. Along with the price, even the P has gone up significantly. Let's first go through the quarterly numbers. Sales, 1700, 1800, 2000. 2173, This will most likely be something around 2500 kind of number. EPS will probably be something like 31, 32 maybe. Let's assume 32. So for the year, 90 rupees EPS likely. The EPS in 2022 was 29, 53 in 2023. 90 this year. So how much will the stock price go to? 90 EPS into a P of approximately 35. Hey Siri, can you multiply 90 by 35? The answer is 3. All right, so 3150. So, considering a price of 2743, there is a significant upside still left if the EPS comes to 90 and the PE is 35. 3150. Another 10 to 15% rally seems to be left. The date for result is 30th May. However, I do have some concerns also. Let's go to the sales numbers. Let us compare some of the numbers. 5000. 4,000, 5,800, 7,800, 8,422. Approximately March of 21 versus March of 23 in these two years, 
sales doubled the eps more than doubled the operating margin was 9565436568 eight, 10 13 this will go up further in this year about 15 historically the margin have been 5 or 6 percent can 15 percent kind of opm be justified and sustained in the next few years i am doubtful this is probably a case where the orders were booked somewhere around here the delivery of the ships have been made here and hence extraordinary profits are booked maybe there are future order also but it is very hard in this industry to suddenly increase your capacity for example if they can build five ships in an year today it cannot go up to 10 suddenly the industry is going to grow a lot in the years to come however current stock levels i think in the medium to long run will correct once and then the PEs will become more reasonable. The stocks will continue to do well. But the current levels of euphoria, they may make you get caught at very high levels, which won't be recovered for many years. So be very sure that if you are investing for long run, then you are not getting caught in the current price range of roughly 2800, 3000 levels. Otherwise, you'll see probably red in your portfolio for few quarters at least. Now, I don't know whether this will correct or when it will correct. Or I'll reduce my quantity maybe to zero around the results when this stock maybe crosses 3000. Question for today, let's go through JSW Steel, India's largest steel company. Sales 46,269 crore. Here it was 42, 44.5, 42 here. Expenses have gone up significantly. 40,243 crore. That is what JSW says. Expenses have been very high. As a result, OPM has reduced. 7,000 became 6,000. 8,000 from March 23 became 6,000 for March 2024. The sales numbers are nearly same. Actually, slightly less. As a result, the OPM has reduced from 17% to 13%. Now, this has a direct implication on the net profit and the EPS. 37415. This has reduced to 1322 and 5.3 so there's a weekend coming up see if you want to dig deeper into what the likely result is this analysis will help us understand whether the anomaly in the current result which is this one is one time or a trend if it is one time and the stock falls a lot maybe it is an opportunity to buy because the anomaly will not repeat in the next quarter and we will make good money in the next quarter I'll share my analysis results on Tuesday. For me, last two days have been good in the market. However, a lot can change on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days. Saturday partially working, but volumes will be low. I'm not thinking too much into the strategy for Tuesday right now. Let's see how things pan out till Monday evening. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you next week on Tuesday.